Continuing with our discussion on reciprocating form, today we have an interesting question to answer. That is whether the negative slip of a reciprocating form is possible or not. As you know, slip is the difference between actual discharge and theoretical discharge. Mathematically, slip is equal to Q theoretical minus Q actual. Usually, it is expressed as a percentage. Negative slip can occur when Q actual becomes greater than Q theoretical. So, the question to answer is whether actual discharge can be greater than theoretical discharge. Answer to the question is yes, negative slip is possible. That is, actual discharge can be greater than theoretical discharge under the following conditions. Condition number one is when the suction pipe is long, two, when the delivery pipe is short and three, the pump is running at reasonably high RPM. Under these conditions, how come actual discharge becomes greater than theoretical discharge? Just consider this diagram. Assume that the suction pipe is long. When the suction pipe is long, the quantity of liquid entering through the suction pipe will be large. When the quantity is large, obviously the inertia of liquid entering the cylinder will be large. Due to the high inertia of the liquid entering the cylinder, the delivery valve may be pushed open and some liquid may find, find its way into the delivery pipe and to the delivery exit even before the commencement of the delivery stroke. That is, before the suction stroke gets completed, there is delivery of some liquid occurring. This will make the actual discharge greater than the theoretical discharge. And as a consequence, the negative slip occurs. So the important point is, the large inertia of the liquid entering the cylinder leads to the opening of the delivery valve before the commencement of the delivery stroke.